I so, pretty much agree with this because this matchup is. So I don't know how the Joker Pac Man matchup is in general. I need I, to see I it a little bit more. A lot of Joker probably can't get on the inside um, in he, mid to high percentages. Here's the thing, though, that uh, like Joker in Rebels Guard kind of eats Pac Man's toolkit alive. Yeah. So that's why I think it's probably good for Joker, but I also haven't seen it yet, so I can't really make too much of a statement. This matchup, however, a bit more annoying. Like, pa Pac Man loves to play out of shield, and that's exactly what. Palatina thrives at. If you're too active out of shield, Nair's going to beat you. And or well, if you're just playing play on defense, you're just having a hard time getting in. Because Pac-Man doesn't want to play too much uh, up close outside of like short hop bears and Nair's. Are you ready for this 100, 200 um, IQ idea right now? So, Kairos is a Palatina main. Yes? Yes. And you have Kiwi, who just came off of beating Kairos. And now, Kiwi's fighting Phantoms. Um, Palatina. <laughs> Maybe Phantom is trying to take advantage of somebody who's already in the mindset of playing a different Palatina. Well, probably. That, that probably has a little bit of contributing factor. I still think it's heavily because Palatina just, like, kind of sauces his matchup. Yeah. But then again, I, I need to... But then again, I, I'm gonna won. I'm going to ask uh, Kiwi and Sidney a little bit more how they feel about it. But in general, just like right now, the wall of projectiles is always in favor of Palu. And you see that Kiwi has to play the slow game, make her way in. But that was a good bait right there. Oh, trying to get, catch the teleport with the, the fire hydro. Fire hydro would have been nice. But the back air is out here controlling the stage. Backman has got to find the way right back in. And. Ooh. Yeah, plenty of recovery options. Not going to get hit by F tilt at the ledge. It was a good call by Phantom, but Kiwi just going to air dodge her way out of there. And there it is. Trying there to go is. for the fruit charge and trying to stay back. Phantom has the ability to play the game from any point of the stage. He doesn't have to commit to anything. Bell's out. Gonna, where is it coming from? Oh, here we go. Let's try that ledge for too long. Oh, yeah. You see, there you go. But, oh, wow. Going to get by the down smash as well. Good defense from Phantom to get back to stage. A lot of pressure out there. It, it, really interesting to see how unflapped he got. Bell's out. Nope. Not going to catch him. Yeah, going to get by the bell as well. Oh, there it is. Oh, That's a hard punish. Is. There we go. Yeah. Kiwi running in immediately, realizing that, all right, Kai, uh, Phantom moment. has been doing a good job of zoning me out. Let me just break that zone, get right in, and close this out. Great call. Hey, Phantom just going back to zoning because that's pretty much all you need to do. Like I said, this this set's going to be quite a while. Like, I, I don't expect this to go too fast because of the fact that there's no reason to try and overcommit on Pac-Man. You play right into Pac-Man's wheelhouse when you do that. Yes. And I, I, it's interesting because I really do feel like it's on Kiwi to approach because obviously the Palu zoning is, mm -hmm. is just... It's going to be a problem. And that's where you succeed against Pac-Man. When you force Pac-Man to approach versus playing back, that's where you're going to get a much better uh, time. But Kiwi's also really good at playing up close, too. Like, that was almost an excellent almost. ledge shop again, but Phantom just making it by one more time. It's actually interesting. Kiwi is applying a lot of pressure right now. It, it's working out because the percentages have been just slowly creeping its way back up. Very intelligent play coming out, not allowing for the zoning to happen so much, but more so the slow creeping doom of Pac-Man. Yeah, I like the fact that alive. she's uh, she's starting to adjust a little bit more on throwing out some of these melons instead, going yes. for a horizontal hitbox. And even when she's facing a deficit like so, she's still playing very well. Oh, but gets hit by the neutral getup call, and that was a, oh, uh, you know, not too much commitment from Phantom there. Just putting out a kill, uh, kill option, full stage, that works out perfectly. Oh my goodness. And you know, audience, feel free to chime in with what you think that these players have to do in order to seal their victory. We want to hear that in the chat as well. Get involved. Give us your thoughts. Give us your 200 IQ plays. This bell is out. Waiting for the new, uh, the teleport cancel right past the platform. Very good uh, option right there. More so just kind of waiting to see what Phantom would do. But Kiwi, <laughs> Kiwi again, uh, you know, we, we talk about the defensive Phantom. Kiwi's another sh very strong defensive player. You see, she's starting to bait out a lot of the choices. Oh, wow. And now lapping Phantom in percent. So the last two stocks that they both took off of each other were done in the same manner. How they both got their stocks off. And it's very interesting to see how they're pushing each other around the stage, trying to create the most advantageous. Oh! Ooh, hey, man, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you're going to keep getting all these bells oh. like so, you're going to oh. seal out the game number one. And you see Phantom's kind of shaking in. his head a little bit, but that was an excellent change of pace coming in from Kiwi there. That first two stocks, Phantom was just zoning and zoning and zoning, and, zoning. and, and it, it, it played into Kiwi's wheelhouse eventually. It, at the end, it was just, I'm in. 
Yep. It was just nothing you could do about it. I would be surprised if we see this swapped over to Joker, but uh, I think we're probably going to see it run back to Palutena. It is only a best of three. Yes. So. I don't know if he's going to run back to Palutena because, as you saw at the end, Kiwi was just taking up all the ground, and it, I it was smile. a wrap. I smile every time I see... It, 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 every single time I see a swap to... Um, Momentous, so we could get actual good music. Yeah, it pleases okay. me. Oh, but well, we're actually. Let's do this, folks. I thought you picked that stage for Joker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so going into game number two here, I just I caught eyes with Phantom because I'm staring him down like, hey. Yeah. But luckily, we got good music. Now, it's gonna be a good match too. I'm looking forward to this. I wonder. I I feel like this isn't gonna really do anything to it, but this is a very bright yellow stage. I hope that it doesn't create an optical problem. Like, it, it, yeah, it ends up working out for Kiwi because she gets lost in something somewhere and Phantom can't track her down, but that's not going to happen. Um, actually very interesting. Uh, a lot Wait, of noise on the screen. my eyes right now. A lot of noise on the screen, so the, um, the orange and the bell might be obfuscated by the background. Mm -hmm. I Who see knows? some I see some Kiwi subs, by the way, in the chat. I see Dark Knight rocking the Kiwi uh, new emote that she's got going on. Heck Kiwi, yeah. an excellent artist, by the way. Make sure you follow her for that. But also follow Phantom for his excellent gameplay in... Very strong performances over this past year. I'm pretty sure in contention for like a top top 100 at least BGR spot. That was actually a very, very keen um, follow-up off the stage. Calling out the proper spot where, where Paulo's going to land and then holding on to stage control for a very short amount of time after they got back on stage. But now... Oh, oh, there we go. You know, actually only going for a grab punish there instead of a, a dash attack. Might have been able to close it out, but uh, still keeping Kiwi forced at the ledge. And again, Ki you know, Phantom doesn't need to commit to a kill option if he just catches Kiwi trying to go for a charge. Back throw going to force Phantom back off stage, though. Don't bell. stand it too long. Oh, my goodness. That bell was looking pretty dangerous right there. Melons. No, no, no. Meet him up. Just forcing. Just trying to go for a drag down, uh, the down throw. But the back throw is going to seal out the first stock for sure Phantom is. over Kiwi. Oh, this is going to... Really quickly though. Ooh, that, that was smash. Yes. I like that a lot. Creating like, a pressure trap right there. I, I, I she didn't want to back up. She yep. tried to go forward, but down smash covers all bases. Kiwi playing incredibly intelligent right now versus Palu on Phantom. Yeah, you know, just adjusting to the fact that she kind of put two whiffs out there and then followed it up with the option coverage of down smash. That was really good. And even so, you know, just kind of holding like a smart route on the way back. But as I say that, it's completely kind of changed pace. Uh, Phantom now starting to succeed where he does so well. Oh, it doesn't get hit with the forward smash. Phantom definitely could have taken that. Ooh. Nice reflector right there. Taking care of business. Yeah, we haven't seen too much reflector because Kiwi's definitely going to try and bait that out if we see counter too much. But Ooh, landing with the uh, the explosive flame, but still not killing. Still in. Okay, there. Yeah. Gonna catch it. Yeah, that is, that, that is the one detriment to the Pac-Man toolkit that Kiwi wishes didn't exist in this matchup. Kiwi wants to be able to play air-to-air -air and trade with those fares and nares, and that nair from Palatina just just makes it so hard to do that. Yeah. And we're seeing a wonderful adjustment by Phantom as he's getting a little bit more aggressive and playing in a different attack vector than he's used to approaching Kiwi with. I uh, really enjoy watching Kiwi call out people when they're trying to land. Oh, oh, oh there it is! The call out exactly when they're to land. what I was talking about before. If you try to reflect too, too much, Kiwi's going to walk up and bait it out. Granted, it was still a decent idea from uh, Phantom, yep. but the difference was it was the bell instead, so nothing went back to Kiwi. Kiwi was able to get all the time in the world to punish that. It's conditioning for that for that micro change that takes the stock. It's wonderful. It is great, and you just called it especially. That was looking pretty dangerous. It was looking pretty bold as well. But right now, it's looking it's, it's still very close. Mm -hmm. However, yep. Phantom has made proper adjustments. Kiwi is. Right on pace with making the proper Yeah, well. you see Phantom's always trying to bait Kiwi to go in towards the ledge because if he can get something like a down throw back air at the ledge, that'll seal it out right now. But, or maybe even there at this point too. You see he's trying to make it work, but Kiwi's slowly racking his damage back up to try and bring it back. This okay. is only best of three. Oh, not going to die off the top from the explosive flame. Not yet. Bell's out. We're going to get. We're gonna see what's going to happen right now. Back yeah. on stage. Let him back on stage. Kiwi's I kinda like the options. Idea. Normally, I don't like the idea of giving up a ledge trap, but I think that Phantom was more confident in the idea of not having that situation change. There, and got it. Yeah, there okay. it is. So many routes that she could take to try and land back down, but the moment that he caught the fact that her jump was expended, the air dodge was gone, like, all right, that's all mine. Yes, Lingers so long. Phantom made a lot of proper adjustments right there. It looked like it could have gone any way, either way, in that match right there. 
It could have gone either way in that match. It was close but enough to do so. Yes. You could see the tension on these players' faces as things are going on. Phantom and Kiwi definitely playing like they earned their spot. It's great. Wonderful. I love seeing it. I um, mean, too. They, these are they, these two players right here are national threats. Uh, nothing national less. Threats. Hey, we've already seen what they've been able to do at things like Pound, amongst other things. And just watching the way that these two have continued to perform and grow, it's so impressive every time. And you're never going to see a victory that was not hard fought just to get this, yeah, just to walk away with the W. Going into game number three, though, this is actually a good stage pick for both of them, to be honest. Yeah, uh, they've got options. These two ledges on the side here give them a way to get away from each other's BS. Um, and that's it's really good. See, you say that, but also Pac-Man gets so much extra BS off of this. But at the same time, Palo like, can, go, can, can extend combos. Exactly. Saw. And also, if Palo is in control of the stage, that's a lot of zoning options for him. Exactly. You know, being able to do, do all those ledge traps is one thing, but being able to just force these extra uh, combo extensions and be able to live a little bit longer off the side is going to work really well for uh, Phantom. The, those, that forward smash from, pa uh, from Pac-Man is super strong. Not giving up the roll away. That was almost a good call, but not going to give it to her. Smart moves, very dangerous. The up smash out of Palutena is pretty impressive. Ooh, these nares are getting a lot of mileage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, going straight to the corner was uh, was Kiwi there, knowing the blast zone was a little bit longer, making a little bit more life. But another one of those nares, probably not going to let it happen. Back throw, back throw still not going to kill. Gonna see the deal. Um, so this is a really interesting thing. In the earlier fighting with Phantom using Palutena, didn't see a lot of nares coming out, but nares actually doing a lot of work for him now in the same form of the fight. Fair. One, seven, three. That was Kiwi. That was a fresh fair, too. Like, not that it's a super strong kill move or anything, but he was just living so long. Her longevity on stocks, she she really knows how to get maximize, uh, like everything maximized out of uh, each stock life. We have a really high percentage right now. I don't know. It's still actually in. Ah, oh, never mind. It, it's not gone. Exactly, not exactly sure. I, I feel like she's trying to trying to bait him to move forward by throwing those fruits intentionally the other direction. It would or maybe been, just to see how he reacts. It was a smash attack Ooh, setup. Good. This is a great combo. Yeah, that, and following up each time off that Galaga. Now she has him at kill percent. There you go, getting hey. the back air off the jump there and even in this very, right back up. Very smooth. No pressure situation on trying to get that stock out. Mm -hmm. I don't think I saw Kiwi sweating at all right there. These two fighters are staying very composed as they're trying yeah. to find the right way in to break each other's um, plans. And both of them just improve as the matches go along. Like, you, usually you'll see somebody crack around this time where you got such a close set and w one person starts to run away with the lead. But neither one of them do that. They're both so well composed in, in, in their thought process and game plan. And Kiwi just running up, punishing that auto reticle. He did. I think you could see she's starting to adjust a bit on the timing of his zoning because she's not getting caught nearly as uh, like by nearly as many of these ghost flames. Smart, uh, catching it on the on the um, flip back and using it as a ledge uh, pressure option. Mm -hmm. It really worked out. Got a, got a little bit of percentage. Unfortunately, back on stage now, losing stage control. We did. Oh, just Phantom. You know what? It was a right idea to go for the upbeat, but Phantom followed it perfectly. Bell and then the forward smash is well. Clap back. This is exactly what we want. They, they go Girlfriend. In, game Hold number on. three. Yeah, that clap back was real. And yeah. <laughs> right now, game number three, both of them on their last stock. And it, it just as tight as it possibly can. It's just such a close set between these two right now. It's actually really interesting to see these guys fighting. Because these adjustments they're making, they're playing a game of tricksters against each other. It's not like we're fighting. It's like we're trying to outmind each other the yeah. entire time. But when it comes to Palutena, where simplicity is key, and you know, Pac-Man having to play such a, a, a very strong, uh, like a long, drawn-out game, mm -hmm. Kiwi has been playing Palutena's game perfectly so far. And, and it's Phantom not boring is... at all, which is great. Because it's like you see every single action they're doing is incredibly necessary. Mm -hmm. You see that like Phantom's still putting out the zoning attempts to try and make it so he can get Kiwi to come close to, because he's gonna try and punish one of those attempts. But Kiwi's the one that hasn't really been cracking too much. Oh, there we go, getting the Galaga. Any Phantom combo trying that to land. Up is a, it's like it's a death warrant, really. These guys are playing right now at the edge of their of their kill potential. Bell's out. Ooh, Ooh getting into force match as well, sending. Phantom the other way, trying to hold his ground on the ledge there. Get using. Bells out. Oof. That is such a scary thing. Just being is scary. Near, near a Pac-Man with Bell. 
Oh, now all of a sudden, I'm... Phantom's starting to rack this damage back up. You see Kiwi just trying to hold their ground. Oh, but gets hit by the Fixwolves nice. of Flame. Force back off stage. What's the option of getting back on? Phantom just going for these back airs. Back on the stage, center stage with a dash attack and a follow up. Not going to give any ground, not going to give anyone for Pac Man to try to take stage control. Orange, though. And answering out. fair to fair. Oh, oh, oh the holding. Oh! oh, getting still living by the explosive flame as well. The percentages are so close right now. This is insane. Off by 1%. And the explosive flame still not killing yet again. Kiwi has to be very careful when going for these uh, fruit charges. You see Phantom waiting, trying to go for maybe a Nair. Oh my god, that, I know. <laughs> that hey. apple moves so slow, <laughs> but it keeps the knockback the whole way. That could possibly could have killed. Oh, Bell's out now. Is he going to stop the key? The key to victory? The key to the, victory. I, I'm mad I just did that. Oh! The key to victory <laughs> is coming! I, okay, so no, I hate when I make fight. that pun because I try so hard not to make that pun, but it ended up working out that time, so it wasn't too bad. That right here, your, your commentary is sniper style. I love it. She uh, held off on it all set because she didn't want to make it so he would be comfortable with trying to reflect it. She waited until the end and exactly conditioning all the way through. Um, I think, uh, yeah, she she stays right there because Blank is up next. That was that was 